Well, it was another travel day, so got everything inside the camper secured, got it all hitched up, and pretty soon that morning we were off on the road again, headed to our next destination, just outside of Tuscaloosa. Our first stop today for lunch in Rayville. That's one good thing about the camper is we're able to stop and just eat lunch here where we got gas, so we sat inside we were able to access the refrigerator and the table and had lunch and then we are fixing to head on back out. Obviously these videos, I'm doing them after the fact and so I can't remember this day how I planned my stops out, but we stopped at a two random, one of them was a raceway and one of them looked like a Loves, two random stops that we had just charted out and they were the right distance between each other. We are just finishing up our second stop of the day. I'm not even sure where we are. Kelly's getting, say that again? Forest. So we're somewhere in Mississippi. It's pretty nice here. We got another couple hours and it's so it's off to Lake Lurleen. Google Maps said today's drive was going to be 438 miles and should take us six hours and 37 minutes. Well, there's there's real time and then there's Google time. So of course it took longer than that, but it was uneventful and the drive went well. Good weather for it too. park is actually in Coker, Alabama, which is just outside of Tuscaloosa. And we made it there just before sundown and had time to find us a spot and get pulled in. These camp spots were interesting in the way you pulled through them. Not that I've been to a lot of campgrounds, but I had never seen a pull through 
campsite work this way where you just drive right in and park on the grass and then pull right on out when you're ready to leave. It was very convenient, very easy to use, user-friendly. I had just enough time before the sun went down to get the camper set up and secure for the night. How much sleep do you need to be alert? This is Lake Lurleen State Park. Just it's in Coker, Alabama, which is just outside of Tuscaloosa, Alabama. And so we rolled in pretty late last night, well, right at sunset, and didn't really get to look around at the park this much this morning. I mean, didn't get to look around at the park yesterday, so we're out this morning for the first time. <clears throat> Lake Lurleen. I think I would describe Lake Lurleen State Park as quaint. It's a, very much a, a throwback type place. This lake, it's a really, really big lake that apparently was formed from a, a dam that was built back in the 50s, but it's a huge, huge lake. And Lake Lurleen, it's named after Lurleen Wallace, who was Alabama's only female governor. So we got up that next morning and were able to get the dogs leashed up and go out for a walk, start exploring the park. It's, it's just, was just really pretty. Um, the, the campground itself, they've got these one campsites that are, have these little dot, each campsite has their own deck and you, your camper is actually parked like on a little wooden dock like thing. So as you can see there on the right, these, um, I, it's hard to describe, like I said, it's like a little deck area that you back your camper out onto, and then each campsite has a little deck then uh, outside their camper. It's really unique. I'd never seen anything quite like it, and it's obviously old school. It's been here a while. This happened to be, the week we were there was, the, the, the weekend coming up was going to be an Alabama home game against arch rival Tennessee. And so a lot of the campers in the campground, it looked like some of these people leave their campers here during, like permanently, and they're able to come out on the weekends and use it as a uh, tailgating uh, thing. It was interesting. A lot of them had their gear out, their decorations out. The next thing, uh, you know, after we got back from that long walk in the morning, it was time to head out for the outing of the day. We were looking for a place to have lunch somewhere close by local in the area. And we ended up looking on Google Maps and we found this place called Taste Buds and it was in Buell, Alabama. Certainly it was great for our lunchtime meal and then we were headed back to the campground and got ready to get out for another walk in the afternoon. The area of the park where we were staying was actually up in a little cove and so for the afternoon walk we went over to the other side of the cove Checked it out, they had a little pavilion over there where it looked like you could rent it for family gatherings and such. Had a good walk in the afternoon and then it was time to head back to the camper and start to get stuff ready to head back to, uh, head back to Hendersonville the next day. We are, we are taking off this morning, last leg of the trip. We're gonna head up to Hendersonville via, uh, through Atlanta. That ought to be fun. Looking forward to getting back. <laughs> 